Okay, here we are with uh, part two of uh, the solar spa. I'm working on the collector here at the same time I'm working on the tub outside. Um, the meat of the matter, actually two collectors, bought off eBay, uh, guys selling them, I assume they're from China like a lot of the stuff. Um, supposedly similar to what comes in the fancier collectors, but uh, without the enclosure, which I have crudely built out of some 2x4s here. I'll lift this up a little bit. So, uh, soldered those together, just some common copper uh, plumbing fittings there. I've got it held in place with some screws. It doesn't exactly need to be uh, bulletproof. It's not going to be moving around. I'm going to show my uh, mounting system a little bit later. I'm just putting it together for now. As I mentioned in part one, I'm just using common um, but industrial strength three-quarter inch uh, garden hose, if you will. Colored black for reasons that will well, probably be obvious now. It will be more obvious later. And those are just uh, connected to the copper fittings here. So water will come through. Uh, apparently uh, best technique is to have your inlet diagonal from your outlet down here. Solar pump's going to pump the water through, works its way through the fins of the collector here, heats up nicely, comes out the other side. So I've got that frame constructed. What I'm about ready to put on now is the backing, which is just some fan fold um, uh, foam. Not real sure on the long-term durability of this one. We'll have to wait and see. But for now, it's not like I can't uh, backtrack, make some improvements. But spray painted that black. That's going on, gonna go on the back of this. And then some uh, clear, you can't really see it there, too well, uh, UV um, kind of greenhouse paneling there on the front. That'll seal it up nice and tight, get a little greenhouse effect going in there ought to uh, heat up fairly nicely. So uh, I'm going to lay down some of the good sticky foam around the edge as a sealant and then screw that in with some uh, pole bar and screws carefully. Now uh, we'll see how it holds up. Um, has to be fairly weatherproof where I'm at. Get some extremes but um, you know wood's got its own issues and all of that. So we'll put this on and uh, take a look in part three at uh, some other stuff. <laughs> 